What's up, everyone? Welcome back to another video. Man, it feels weird being back in the studio, but I miss it, guys. Um, I'm sorry for the hiatus over the last few months. Had to get a new um, studio renovation. This studio is still the same. I've just been working on building a new studio at the house and trying to move into that studio. So things are going to get better for the channel down the road. It's just currently going through some renovations. But we're going to talk about the iOS 16.4 beta slash RC candidate on this 13 Pro Max. And is it ready for the, the, the public come Monday or Tuesday and stuff like that? Let's get started. All right. So the first thing that I installed this beta for was to test T-Mobile standalone. T-Mobile standalone 5G when enabled, um, depending on to the tower configuration and tower, whatever's going on with the bands and everything. I don't want to get into that stuff because I don't want to bore people. But nine times out of 10, it'll anchor a an, uh, standalone band and then do NSA bands on top, or it'll do all standalone if there is standalone everything. Certain towers and certain regions throughout the country with T-Mobile do not have all standalone. Even though they have standalone nationwide, not every band is configured to be standalone. But N70, N71 is primarily the band, and N25 are the primary bands that the phone will connect to with standalone. But also, depending on to like my experience when I was in Orlando, Florida, it connected to standalone N41 at 100 megahertz channel depth and stuff like that. So that's my nerd side for the cellular stuff. Now we're going to look into like battery life, and then this video is going to be short because I have a big what's new video coming up where I'm going to review iOS and iPadOS, you know, look at what's new in the release notes and um, they'll be coming out when the public release is out. So subscribe to the channel. All right. So I don't know what's been plaguing this iOS 16.4 update because the battery life, I used almost 100% and I used 100% um, on Friday and I'm getting less than 10 hours of screen on time. Now, it could be because I'm on T-Mobile and the standalone does affect battery life. So does 5G, but standalone in my area is really affecting it. So I'm going to have to test this. I might reinstall the software to um, really see. But I'm averaging about 8 to 9 hours of screen on time on this 13 Pro Max. Battery health is at 84% on the device. And so you all can see here, there's my maximum capacity on the device. All right, now I want to get into should you install this update when it comes out Monday or Tuesday? Most certainly, there shouldn't be no problems. There might be a few things, and if you've got T-Mobile you can in the United States, you can test or stand alone if you are a network enthusiast and you just want to mess around with how the iPhone performs on a cellular network. But if you don't care about standalone, there is 21 new emojis, including a raven and whatever else. Um, and there's a few other things, and if you're on a 14, there is crash detection performance more improvements to that but there's that and i appreciate everyone for watching sorry this video is short but there's not much to talk about this uh, point update and we're almost towards ios 17 the year's been flying by um of course we'll we'll be covering ios 17 and whatever ios 16 updates that come around and stuff like that but this is austin appreciate everyone for watching hope everyone has a wonderful weekend Thank you for watching this quick follow-up, and I will see y'all when the release is this upcoming week. Peace.